non-compete song. I really want to get this presentation festival going um, and then uh, I picked a subject uh, for probably university students or job seekers, young generation, um, you know, who are looking uh, to get into uh, industry, um, maybe uh, looking for a job um, speaking English. So, uh, but but I'm open to any suggestion, so after my presentation, you guys can give me any feedback or any thoughts whatsoever, that's great. Okay, so I'm going to start. Okay, so I'm going to introduce myself. Um, I've been a screenwriter. You guys know what screenwriter is? Write for movies, right? Script writer. Um, very unsuccessful one. <laughs> unsuccessful one in Los Angeles. So, basically, being a Canadian person, I'm a Canadian. Being a Canadian person, I, I was able to live in Los Angeles legally. In theory, in theory. Um, until when I was deported. I, <laughs> I was at the Vancouver airport, and then they called me. Okay, um, so your name is Joe, so uh, where are you going? Uh, Los Angeles, what do you do? I'm a screenwriter. I mean, no kidding, what do you do? <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm, I'm uh, unemployed. So, okay, so they deported me. Um, and then I had to go back to Canada, uh, where I live. And then, uh, I'm, I'm Korean-Canadian. My parents, my, especially my father, he's very typical Korean father, okay? And then he came to my room and said, Joe, I, I just went to my alumni meeting. And then I was too embarrassed to talk about my first son. Joe, why don't you just go out and get, get a realistic job? Job that you can contribute to the world. I know it was, it was very hearty. <laughs> so I went out. Um, there is a cof coffee shop called uh, Tim Hortons. I'm not sure if you guys know. It's a very famous coffee shop. So I ordered myself a cup of coffee and then thought about my life. Okay, really? Am I that useless? And then, um, okay, so what should I do now? So I went, I went to this course, an uh, English course called TESOL to become an English teacher, and then I became English teacher. So I became ESL teacher. It's funny. The teacher who teaches job interview. <laughs> okay, it's very... My students are so unlucky, you know? Getting a job is only in my imagination. So, so I don't know why students are taking my class. But what's more like funny and funnier is that students who take my class do get jobs. You know, like jobs in like high profile companies like Samsung or Toyota or some people become uh, flight attendants and stuff. So, wow, what's happening? Well, I don't know. And then a lot of people tell, tell me, oh, Joe, what is the trick? Okay, obviously you, you've been uh, unemployed for many years. What is the trick? Well, the trick is, I'm a screenwriter. You know, job interview is, is all about um, storytelling, right? You gotta have to write your own story for 20 minutes. So that is my trick. So, so I'm going to talk about um, that trick. Unfortunately, storytelling is not the answer. The answer is this. It's in the, uh, in the title. Building your vision and manifesta uh, manifestation. So, so basically, I'm going to talk about your vision. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, this video.
Okay, so this guy's name is Dan Kim, Daniel Kim, and then he was just regular ESL student studying in Canada. So we we practiced presentation and he did his presentation. What's interesting is that he talked about communication technologies because he has big vision in communication technology. So he did this presentation and then he included this in resume. He, he sent it to uh, Kia Motors. And then he was so lucky well, that he, can, he could get an uh, internship opportunity uh, in Kia Motors. Um, and uh, Korean society is, society is so competitive, it's really hard to get an internship opportunity even. So he was like, you know, he was so lucky that he can get uh, that job. But at the same time, you know, I, I didn't think it was like so lucky because uh, he included this in his resume. One year later, this is um, another presentation done by Dan. about uh, cars, smart cars, um, because he had this big vision about cars now. Okay, right, so now the internship is done, he included this video in his new resume and then he sent it off to Hyundai Motors now. And the Hyundai Motors HR managers saw that and then they called him and then uh, they had a job interview, very quick one, and then he got a job at Hyundai Motors, so he could launch his career in car car industry. The story didn't stop here. The story continued, and then this is then now. So this is Hyundai Motors. Um, so he's in front of, uh, I think, 5,000 new employees of Hyundai Motors, and then he did this uh, presentation in front of them, and then he talked about Hyundai Motors' motto. Okay, uh, to new employees in English. Okay, so now what this story tell us? Okay, All right, a lot of students they only just maybe if they had a uh, goal in you know getting jobs in like English speaking environments and whatnot. You know they only like practice English speaking. Um, you know uh, same in Japan or same in Korea too. So what did they do? The trick is that Haksu. Uh, then, uh, when he was in Canada, he had a vision. He wanted to become an entrepreneur first. And then, he, he's a futurist. He's a catalyst too, okay? So he, uh, he had a big vision, and then he always tell his vision to um, people around him. And then, um, he basically discussed his vision with HR managers. So oftentimes students ask me, okay, so what do I need to do? Okay, why don't you try to have a vision first? I mean, like, vision, you know, I'm not going to become an entrepreneur. I would like to work for someone else. Uh, I, like, I don't need to have a vision. Well, the, the basically the truth is this. Let's look at this. Let's have an entrepreneur mind because this is uh, the model that Apple had 20 years ago. This is young Steve Jobs. It's more fun to be a pirate than to join the Navy. If you don't have your own vision, you cannot understand someone else's vision. That's what I'm talking about. So, so I, the first recommendation to young generation now is that, okay, why don't you have a vision before you get a job, okay? Then those vision will be transferred. And then when you work for someone else, then you can understand their vision too. So now, so first thing you gotta have to remember is having a vision. Now manifestation of your vision. Now when you have a vision, now you gotta have to show others about your vision. Okay, what your future looks like. Okay, so 
So I'm going to show you a couple of presentations. Um, so now, why do I show you presentation? Because presentation form is the best way to show other people what your vision is, what your future is. Okay. So I'm going to show you a couple of presentations, and then um, I'm going to give you two questions. First, is it a good presentation? Second, is there a vision in this presentation? Okay. So let's have these two questions. Um, and then try to ask yourself, and then if you have an answer, or and then may maybe different from my answer too. Okay, so uh, let's watch uh, the next presentation video. Oops. In this expression, we're dividing this third degree polynomial by this first degree polynomial, and we can simplify this by using traditional algebraic form division. What we're going to cover in this video is a slightly different technique, and we call it synthetic. Division. And synthetic division is going to seem like a little bit of voodoo in the context of this video. In the next few videos, we're going to think about why it actually makes sense, why you actually get the same result as traditional long division, algebraic long division. My personal tastes are not to like synthetic division because it is very, very, very algorithmic. I prefer to do traditional algebraic long division, but I think you'll see that this has some advantages. It can be faster and also uses a lot less space on your paper. Okay, so do you guys think this is a presentation? Yes. Yes, you do? Okay, uh, any um, ideas why? Why this is a presentation? Because yeah. the uh -huh. definition of presentation we has you is like someone standing up the stage okay. <coughs> and tell stuff. But actually, if you look at any movie uh -huh. or like music video, they'll show you the end or the beginning that presented by. Mm -hmm. So actually, I think it, this is part of the vision. Thank you so much for your answer. Thank you so much. Yes, I mean, I do agree that this is a presentation. Yes, lots of uh, knowledge uh, was given and uh, taught. And then we do learn a lot of stuff. Although I don't understand anything. <laughs> Mathematics is not my best subject when I was in high school. Um, so, okay, so now this is a presentation. Um, now, well, you have different ideas in your mind whether or not this is a good presentation or not a good, pres not a good presentation. But um, my second question, is there a vision? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, the person, person has a vision, okay? Um, but this question includes a vision, maybe only knowledge. So basically, what I'm trying to say here is that a lot of times in resume, there's a lot of information, not a vision. Information, there's no message, right? Okay, so, so something to think about is, uh, okay, do I have a vision? Do I have uh, my own future, my own vision in every single sentence of my resume? Okay, so the next presentation is a very popular presentation done by a person you know. Oh, God, I gotta leave. <laughs> now, I got some special, special iPhones up here that got a little special board in them, and so I can get some digital video out, and I got a little cord here which goes up to these projectors, and uh, so I got some great images, and you get to see what it really looks like. So, let me, I've got a camera here so you can see what I'm doing with my finger for a few seconds, and uh, let me go ahead and Get that picture with a picture up. I'm going to go ahead and just push the sleep wait button. There we go, right there. And to unlock the phone, I just take my finger and slide it across. Alright, you see that again? Go to sleep. If you wanted something you couldn't do by accident in your pocket, just slide it across. Boom. And this is the home screen of iPhone right here. And so if I want to get in the iPod, I just go down that lower right hand corner and push this icon right here. And boom, I'm in the iPod. I want to get home, I push the home button right here, and I'm home. Back in the iPod, I'm back in the iPod. I'm pretty sure you have uh, seen this video. Um, well, I know there's, you know, some people, you know, maybe some people don't like Steve Jobs or maybe, um, but, uh, well, I, I gotta have to say, I mean, I, I, well, this is my personal feeling. I, I, because I used to work for Apple <laughs> for one year. So I, I'm a, a big Apple geek. But anyway, so Steve Jobs presentation. 
Um, well, well, now, now uh, it's Steve Jobs' presentation. A lot of people think this is a textbook version of uh, uh, presentation. Um, so I'm going to act now. Um, so I'm going to pretend I'm a Steve Jobs here. So I'm Steve Jobs, and then I say, "Okay, I'm Steve Jobs. Thank you so much for coming, everyone." And I made this great thing called iPhone. Oh, I forgot it. It's in the warehouse. Sorry, I, I forgot it. But you know, I'm Steve Jobs. You trust me, right? Okay. So what is the effect of this? So you don't have you don't have the thing, right? You don't have the thing. You don't have uh, the the iPhone in your hand. Okay. So a lot of times uh, we watch presentation or even job interview, right? Well, do you have the idea? Do you have your vision? Do you have the thing, the, the blueprint of the future in your hand? Okay. Um, I'm going to act uh, another scenario here. Okay. Now this time I'm Joe. Okay. I'm Joe, and I'm a good friend of Steve Jobs. Okay. Uh, and then here I'm going to present. Oops. I left my iPhone there. Okay. Here I'm, I'm going to present my iPhone. What do you guys think? So now in this time, in this time, right? What do you think? You have your iPhone in your hand, okay, and you're presented to um, audience, and and now um, audience going, okay, what is this guy, right? So now your your iPhone is it yours, okay? Your vision, your idea, the future plan, is it yours, okay? So that's that's my second suggestion to you. Okay, so if you are, if you have your strong vision, now you gotta have to think, uh, you gotta have to double check or confirm that is it your own vision, okay, or your own uh, future blueprint, okay. Um, so, so next presentation is this one. I have a dream. One day. done by Dr. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. And <clears throat> guess how many people were there? There were 250,000 people were there. There was no Mixi, there's no Facebook, there's no Twitter. And then uh, 250,000 uh, people were there to be part of the movement. So this is what happened. If you if you have presentation and your presentation has a big vision, then people will be there because they all want to be part of the movement. So now, I know um, vision is such a conceptual word. Um, uh, I, I mean, we don't know what vision is. Sometimes it can be a big model. Sometimes it can be a tangible thing. Um, so in my opinion, vision is an idea about a future produced by you. So, this is my conclusion. First, um, you gotta have to have your vision. Second, you gotta have to manifest your vision, show, show vision to other people. Actually, my list is until number three, okay? Uh, number three is something I didn't discuss yet, okay? So let's look at my number three. Um, so this is my next video.
Right, there's a strong uh, Christian theme in it. Um, so, this is what I think. Now you have a vision, and then now you, are, you have one presentation, you manifested your vision. Um, and then you think that a lot of people will respond to it. Um, the truth of the matter is, um, it's not going to go anywhere if you have only one presentation. This is what happened, just like you read. Um, now, Jesus and the Apostle Paul travel so long to deliver a message which evolutionized the world uh, forever. So now, this is my opinion. So if you have a vision, and then you, if you have uh, uh, presentation material, and then you're ready to manifest it, you gotta have to travel, you gotta have to go someplace physically, not just only one time, many, many, many times. And then try to meet people, try to show the world what you have. Okay, so this is my three list. Wow, thank you so much. And, uh... <laughs>